This call may be monitored and recorded. Please be advised your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance and training purposes. Thank you for calling Covenant Transport's driver recruiting line. If you know your recruiter's extension, please press 4. For students or recent CDL grads, press 1. For experienced drivers, press 2. To hear this message again, press 9. Thank you. Covenant Recruiting is Trené. Hey, you say Trené or Renee? Renee. Renee, how you doing today? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, I, good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um so I was talking to one of your drivers uh about a month ago and um it was telling me a little bit about uh about how you pronounce the name? Covenant? Com- Covenant? Covenant. Covenant. They made a covenant with God to run it with Christian values is what the owner that's why he named it Covenant. Covenant. Yeah. Okay. Um so yeah. I, I talked to uh actually I talked to a couple of drivers. In particular I talked to a, a female driver. Uh she was okay. she was like a new like a, a new driver that was that was coming out of school or something like student. that. Or yeah. a new student uh-huh. that was coming yeah. out of school. And she was telling right. she was telling me that you guys do training but she was she was trained with another person that was in the truck. So it was like a trainer training. Two- we run team here. We oh. run team here. Okay. Oh. Oh, so okay. they're training to run as a team. All oh. right. So they can put them on the same truck together so they can show them how to run as a team. Oh, yeah, okay. 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 That, that, that's t- but by, by the way you saying it sounds a lot better than the way mm-hmm. she said it. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> she, she just didn't give you a clear picture, but that's what we do. And and it, and if you're running team, you want to you know have a trainer there to show you how to run as a team. Because as soon as soon as the trainer's gone, you're on your own. Uh, so if you come into snags and things, it's easier to have somebody there that you can ask everything before you actually go out on your own you know uh, okay 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 so that's why there was two people on the truck with a trainer okay yeah okay yeah, that's, cause that's all we do here is uh, run team okay that's better to understand that now now if i was to come in now i i can't come in as a solo as a solo driver if i want we don't have solo oh my god we don't have solo. Oh, okay. So that means okay. So that means if I come in with you, you guys will partner. Will can I pick my partner if you guys partner partner yes, me up? We want you to. Oh, yes. oh okay. Yes, yes, we want you to find your team partner. We'll help you. Okay, we have a um um we have a driver coordinator that'll ha- help you um um find somebody to team with in your area. Mm-hmm. And if you don't find anybody in orientation, then that's what you'll do. Oh, okay, okay. So I I will have the opportunities to do all this while I'm while I'm in orientation at the same time. Yes, we'll have meet and greets and and um um will you'll be uh you know three days in orientation. You'll be with the same people. Where do you live? I stay out of Ohio. Okay, so we um yeah, we can either go to Pennsylvania, Allentown, Pennsylvania, to do orientation. Or come down to um, Tennessee, uh, Chattanooga. Um, how would how I, much experience do you have? Five years. Okay. Uh, we would provide you with a bus ticket, the room, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a paid orientation. You'll be here three days. Now let me okay. ask you. Now let me ask um, you this about. Let me ask you this about that bus ticket. If I yes. decide to like drive down there or take a plane down there. Will you guys reimburse me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, mm-hmm. because Greyhound, not or a fan. It's, I know. <laughs> not many people are. <laughs> um, it's just the ways and means to get here. It's a lot cheaper. So. I got you. I um, got you. But, yeah, we can either do it in uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania, or Tennessee. 
Um, we do provide you with that if you decide to get your own rental car or if you bring your own vehicle. Afterwards, they'll just route you to get you a load going towards your house, mm -hmm. and you can take your vehicle back home if you want and then have the, your team partner follow you with the truck. And then that way you can get the rest of your stuff to go on the truck too. Oh, okay. Now, with the, now with the team partner, you we we going to have to actually find somebody that's going to have to be compatible with me, right? Yes. Yeah, and you're going to talk to them. You're going to ask them. You're going to, um, you know, I mean, it's like p picking a roommate, all right? Right. You're going to ask, except, you know, you know we, we, we screen them for their safety issues. <laughs> oh, we okay. make sure they don't have too, any accidents or any um, um, criminal, any of those things. We make sure they're cleared enough to qualify to where you don't have to worry about that, all right, because it's already been screened. You're going to worry about are you a smoker, are you a non-smoker, are you right. a um do you have a pet? Um, you prefer a male or a female? You know, all these things are coming into play. You decide who, you, which, you know, uh, older, younger, same age, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Or, you know, they smell. I, that would be my number one. I, I, I don't care how old you are or what color you are. I just don't want you smelling. I don't, I don't like I got you. I I I hear you. That that bo is the is the big thing, and they gotta be clean. They yeah. they definitely gotta be clean. Yeah. Hold on for a second. Right, hold hold right. on. Hold on. Okay. Yep. Ah. Uh, okay. Hold on. All right. We can. All right. We can mess the uh, scoot that over. All right. Um. Okay. All right. So they they definitely got to be clean. I'm I'm talking like clean clean. Okay. <laughs> now, and, and you can't always take a shower on the road because that truck's going to be going a lot. You don't do your 10-hour resets and the truck shuts down. The other one starts driving, okay? So driving as a team is a little bit different than driving solo. Um, okay. But there are ways to stay clean while you're in the truck, okay? We have baby wipes. We have Febreze. We have all kinds of things that, you know, can keep you relatively clean uh, until you can get your showers, you oh, know? Okay. You don't have to stay all stinky. Now, now being uh, that— And then spraying, spraying perfume over something— um, that that doesn't do anything but make it stink worse. <laughs> I got you. Now I, I'm looking on I'm looking on the website and it, it does it uh -huh. does say it does say here that uh, you guys offer uh, offer schooling for drivers that don't have their uh, CDLs. No, am I reading what that right? What we do is we oh. do offer training. After they get their CDL, oh, okay. we don't have a school, but we have they go to a truck driving school. We work with the truck driving schools, and then we have a reimbursement program where we pay the schools back. Okay. okay. Uh, and if you know somebody that needs to go to a truck driving school that you want to team with or whatever, once they get out of truck driving school and you want to train them, you can do that. You don't you wouldn't be necessarily a trainer for us, but you would be. Uh, just training for your team partner. You oh, can be okay. Trainer, because you have enough experience. Okay. What's the uh, what's what's the sign-on bonus? Was if any? The forty thousand dollars split. It's forty thousand dollars split, and it's paid out for every sixty thousand miles you guys run together. You each get a a thousand dollars. Um, so every three months you'll run like sixty thousand because we average five to six thousand a week. Mm -hmm. So every three months you'll average about six. A sixty thousand, and you'll each get a thousand dollars split. I mean, a thousand dollars each. All and right. then, and every another three months, you're going to get it again. So what? If you change team partners, say you're teaming with someone uh, for you know three months, and y'all team together, and then um, you you know that say your team partner got off the truck for whatever reason, you teamed up with someone else, then it starts over with a new person. I got you, got you. What about uh? What about uh, for pre-employment drug testing? Do you guys do hair follicles? No, we do a urine sample. Oh, okay. Now let me ask you this. Now, I I'm assuming that all of all of the pre-employment stuff is done during orientation, being that that's where I yes. will, it, where I will be meeting my potential team driver. Right. Right. Uh, See, what you're doing is you're going to be meeting people, and if you find somebody that you want to team with, but the next thing you know, they're disqualified. It might be because they failed a previous drug screen, or they had too many accidents, or they didn't tell us about something that happened 
you know, say they had a misdemeanor last month and they didn't tell us about it and they're still doing court things for it. Things like that. We don't always, we try to catch everything before we, we um, you know, activate them to make sure that they're good, you know, candidates for us. Okay. Now let me ask you this: What if what if I don't find my team partner? Can I can I drive solo until then, or do I gotta drive? No, we don't have solo. Huh? I, we don't have solo. We don't we don't have solo. Where do you live? I uh, I stay out of Ohio. Ohio. Yes. Nah, we might have stuff up there because we have a lot of freight going in and out of Ohio and Pennsylvania. But um, we'll have a driver coordinator give you a list of drivers in your area that work here already mm-hmm. looking for a teammate. We uh, He will help you find somebody. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What about uh, – now let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Since being that you, you said uh, that y'all teams, what's your guys' policies on felons? On what? Felons. Drivers with felons. Felons. It just depends on what it was. Uh, if it's over seven years ago, as long as it wasn't anything, you know, has to do with um, sexual or murder or anything like that, then or assault, then you'll be fine. We don't even have to get it approved. But if it's uh, less than seven years ago, then they want to know what it is, and we have to get it approved. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and would that – would would I know about that other person's – conventions anything you know if he's a felon or not what not necessarily if it's that old they're qualified then it's it's not going to be we don't let you know because it's not your it's not our place to tell you anything about anybody else okay if that driver wants to because it's been in the past you know we all, you you have to be able to if he's not done anything since then it may have been just something that happened when he was in a bad place bad time or bad area or bad people you know, but we're not gonna we're not gonna give you all that information. But we're gonna assure you he has been cleared, and we feel confident he's good to go. Okay. Because we run um, a background check, we run all that other stuff when they're in orientation, okay. and they'll go over all that with you if you have anything on your uh, criminal background. I got you. If you I have too you. much, and you never you have the same stuff over and over again. That means that you really didn't learn your lesson the first time. Exactly. And you should continue to do it. Exactly. Yeah. What if uh what if so my D O T card, right? I i still got my D O T card. Uh-huh. Do I gotta do I gotta get a new D O T card when I come on with you guys? Well, if it has three months left on it, then no, you do not. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. So mm-hmm. orientation, uh, as you said, is is held mm-hmm. up there. Uh we get the sign on bonus, but do we get paid for orientation? Yeah, the orientation is a paid orientation. The sign-on bonus is not really a sign-on bonus. It's more of an incentive. Sign on. Mm-hmm. It's more of a incentive to stay with the same team partner. Because if you stay with someone for, you know, 60,000 miles and you really stay with them 58,000 miles and then you really don't want to stay with them, stay with them two more thousand miles and at least get $1,000 out of it, you know, <laughs> and oh, then okay. train, change team partners. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. It's just an incentive to stay with the same team partner. I got gotcha. you. And um, they are, it is paid. It's three days of orientation. It's paid. Um, day one is paid $50. Day two is 85 And day three is $85. Uh, day one is basically just going to do um, your drug test. Anybody that needs a physical, you're going to be doing the road test, the backing test, things like that. And then day two and three, they're going to go over videos. You're going to be looking at, you know, doing, you know, other things that you might need to do. They'll come in and talk to you through operations, safety. They have to interview you for anything that's in your past that um, may need to be approved. Then they'll do all that then. Okay, okay. That's good to know. That's good to that's good to know. So what's yeah. what's the um, mm-hmm. so being that this is teams. We're we're running all forty eight yeah. states. We are. Um, until you get here, until you find someone to team with. Once you find somebody to team with, and you guys are good to go, and you're you, you know like teaming, and y'all are doing good, stay with us for thirty days. Demonstrate good on time delivery, good customer service, have a good communication, respect for your fleet manager, and then get your hazmat. Okay, that's very important. Even okay. if you don't take a hazmat load, your pay goes up two cents more per mile. All right. So having hazmat makes a difference because it makes you have an endorsement on your license. Even if you don't run any hazmat, we don't have a whole lot of hazmat loads. But 
having that. We pay for you to get it, too. All right, so get your hazmat when you're here. And in 30 days, then um, they will they will uh, put you on an engineered or a dedicated lane. They just want to make sure that you don't have any service failures, that you're you're not going to be disruptive with the customers or your fleet manager and things like that. You've proven it over a month that you are a good driver, you're, you like to make money, you like to run, and then they'll put you on other things. You'll be promoted within 30 days. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Okay. Uh, so what's the cent? So what's the cent per mile for the team? Well, it goes by how much your experience. Uh, you said five years experience. I got okay. So yeah, that that's a good breakdown. So I got five years, and let's say my teammate got two. Okay, all right. You got five years. Do you have hazmat? Uh, no, but I can get it. Uh, it takes a few weeks to get the hazmat, okay? right? Because you have to do a background fingerprint, and, and we'll do all that when you get here, all mm-hmm. right? Or once you get hired on, if your state, Ohio, is not a state where you have to go back there to do the background fingerprint. So when you get here, orientation, bring your birth certificate. Tell them after you get hired on, hey, I want to go ahead and start the process for hazmat. They'll run you down to the D, uh, to the um, hazmat, the TSC TSA mm-hmm. office. And they'll do the background fingerprint, and we'll put the money on your card to get it done. And then it'll take a few weeks before it comes back. All right? Okay. During that time, you'll study the CDLPreps.com and, and learn all about hazmat. Okay? Right, right. But anyway, coming in without it, your pay is at $0.54 cents a mile. All right? And then your team partner has less than two years' experience, you said? Mm-hmm. Let's use that as an example. His, okay. Then their pay is going to be at $0.50 cents a mile. All right. Oh, okay. Um, we split the miles, not the pay. Oh, so 6, okay, miles, okay, okay, okay. You get paid fifty-four cents at three thousand miles. He gets fifty cents at three thousand miles. Your pay is more because you have more experience. Okay, okay. Then, every, yeah, and then this is all non per diem. All right. So if you get in here and you uh, don't opt out of per diem, then your pay is going to be different because so much is non tax because right. of the per diem rate. You know, but you know per, a lot about per diem, I'm sure. Yeah, but the per diem is not the per diem is not mandatory, though, right? It's not, but you have to opt out of it in orientation. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So they'll give you a form to sign and everything. Just tell them you don't want per diem, or if you do want per diem, you know, your paycheck will be usually more every week if mm-hmm. you get per diem because sixteen cents is non-tax per mile. Mm-hmm. So it it just it gives you a better tax break every week in okay. the end it's all going to be you know Same. it's all going to come out right. as a wash right. anyway yeah so what about uh what about um, oh go ahead oh no go ahead uh so what about vacation holiday pay well you stay out 12 days and home for two if you want to bank your time and stay out longer you can say so you you go you come in and you guys run for like three weeks you can stay stay out three weeks and take four or five days off so you can take, you know, a break in between all the time. Or if you want to bank it and take longer off, every six days you're out, you get one day off. Um, but where you live, we got a lot of freight going in and out. That won't be a problem getting you home. Um, you just let them know when you want to take, you know, time off. We do not have a paid holidays or paid, um, you know, anything like that. But what a lot of the drivers do, they'll wait until they get their bonuses. Mm-hmm. You know, every three months you're going to get us your safety bonus, two cents more per mile, and then you're going to get your team bonus. So when you got, you know, extra money, then you take off for like a week at a time or, you know, two weeks or whatever you need. But, um, yeah, you can do that. You just let them know when you want off and you can get it off. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. Okay, that is that is what's up. Mm-hmm. That's good to know. All right, so what about um, – mm-hmm. uh, all right, so we did that. So breakdown, detention – and layover, we get covered for that? We have all that. Oh, okay. We also have another program, if you have hazmat, both of you, that we have a guaranteed pay, okay? Mm-hmm. So say you have your five years experience, and for whatever reason, you, you're you stuck at a, 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 um, a, a, you know, making a delivery, or it's not going to deliver for two days, or, you know, whatever the reason, and you don't make a good paycheck, you don't have any miles that week. Uh, your truck's broke down. Say it's in the shop for a blown tire and it's taking too long to get it fixed, whatever. But um, we have a guaranteed pay. If you have your hazmat, both of you, and you both have, well, at least a year experience, 
then we'll make sure that every paycheck, as long as you're available to run, you'll get a thousand dollars. All right. We want to make sure instead of having using all the detention and and you know layover pay and all that other stuff, if your paycheck's only eight hundred that week, they're going to bump it up to a thousand. We want to make sure you have a guaranteed pay, so every week you'll have a paycheck. So one week it's not, you know, twenty one hundred, and the next week three hundred, the next week two thousand, and the next week a hundred. You know, every week it's going to be at least a thousand. Oh, okay. That's what's. Hello. Oh. Oh my God. We got disconnected. Can I call you right back? Uh. Is this, who? What's your name? This is Sean. We was just talking a second ago. Sean, I know, I know, and I tried to call you back, and I called the wrong number. Now I've got the other person on the phone, so I've got to talk to them real quick. So, Sean, can I call you right back as soon as um I get off the phone with them? It's going to be a minute. That's fine. Oh wait, that's her calling back. Hold on. Hello. Hi, Sean. Yes, yes. Hey, sorry about that. Oh uh, no, in it's the of talking to. I thought I was calling you back, but somebody else had tried to call while I was talking to you, and I didn't answer it. And I thought, I thought it was your phone number. But oh no, 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 it, that, that's okay. <laughs> that's that's quite okay. I only have a few more questions okay. anyway. Um, okay, well, let me get your name in case we drop the call again. I'll, I'll be able to, you know, call you back by name. You said it's Sean. Yes. Is it S H A U N or S E A N? No, S H A U N. Okay. And what's your last name, Sean? Okay. All right, Sean. Um, so we're we're. I think we left off. Well, I. You know what? I was gonna ask you. What's what's the um. What's the average miles uh, that that we can get as a team? Oh, okay, we average five to six thousand miles a week. Okay, and like I told you, once you've been here for thirty days, you've got a good team partner. Y'all running good. Um, they'll put you on something engineered, and when I say engineered, you may you'll you'll know exactly where you're going to go every week. All right, like I have a team that lives in California. They run from California to Memphis. They drop in Memphis, pick up in uh, Missouri, and go back to California every week. And they're only out four days a week, home for two, and they do it the next week, too. That way they get, you know, things done at home, and they know when they can make their dental appointments or eye appointments and, and you know, check on their home and everything, too. Okay, so, so we got to do um, so we got to do that. We, we got we to gotta do that after 30 days in order to get something yes, like that. Yes, you just have to. You just have to, like I said, those four things. Um, but now to coming in, you're going to average five to 6,000 miles a week. But give us 30 days, and you'll get on something where it's got good home time or good uh, freight or good, you know, miles or whatever. But you, you'll be able to do it, you know. Find somebody to team with, make it work for you, and, um, yeah, right. it, it'll happen. All right. Yeah. Well, the, the last few questions I have is dealing with the truck. So what kind of equipment okay. that, we, that we got that you guys offer? All of our trucks are automatic. They're less than two years old. Most of them are Freightline or Cascadia. We do have some Peterbilt's and Kenworth's and Volvo uh, and Internationals, but most of them are Freightline or Cascadia's. They're e easier to get fixed. Any, okay? And they're all under they're all under warranty because they're less than two years old. Any Once bells they, and whistles? We run a lot of. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, all the new trucks that we get every time we tra um, every month we get in new trucks. Okay, because we run team. We run the miles, all right? So they don't like to keep trucks too long. They want to keep getting new ones in. But all the new ones we get in already have the refrigerator, the uh, inverter. Um, all the uh, trucks have the memory foam mattress, too. Oh, okay, okay. What about uh, what, what about uh, driver cams? Um, they have the, the cameras on the front of the truck in case someone can't, uh, cuts you off. Oh, okay. But we don't have them inside the truck. Oh, no. Okay. So what about the uh, That's too invasive. Gotcha. You're, you're teaming. Gotcha. Sometimes it's husband and wife and boyfriend and girlfriend. That's too much. Gotcha. <laughs> what about uh what's the computer what's what's the computer for the ELDs? Qualcomm. Oh, okay. It's still Qualcomm. Now now as far as uh as far as Qualcomm, do we get the do we get the com data data cards or the EFS cards? It's a MasterCard actually. For oh. the debit, uh, you'll yeah, for get the one of those stops. for Calm Data. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah, okay. you can use it anywhere. Yeah, oh, okay. so it's a lot easier than having to get a calm data card where you have to pay to get money off of it. And it's your money, but you're paying for it, so it sucks. Now, being that you guys is a team-based company, do you guys do leasing? Yeah. Once you come in and say you um, um, you find somebody to team with, you team up for 30 days. After 30 days, if you want to um, get on the lease program or you want to become a trainer, a trainer, they average 80, 90,000 a year. Okay? okay? They're at 72 cents a mile. All right? So you come in and you become a trainer for us. You got to get your hazmat. You got to run for 30 days to team. Um, you know, go through a, a trainer class and everything. Then you become a trainer. Get a, become a trainer and then train, uh, upgrade two students. After you upgrade two students, then you can get on the lease program as a trainer. And that's where the money can be made. Okay? I'm going to just tell you. That's where money can be made. Or if you don't want to lease, I mean, I want to be a trainer and you want to team with someone, uh, they would work for you. You get the lease truck and they would work for you, but it's still a team. Oh, okay. Okay. Now as far as uh as far as the lease as far as the lease goes, is it uh is it a walk away lease and is me it and my No. No. Nope. Oh. So this is so this is something definite that me and my partner actually gotta Well Well, I tell you what though. Um what we do is say you come in and you've got a good team partner, you find one and you, you get on an engineered lane or a dedicated lane and then you decide you want to get on the lease program, uh, you can stay on that same lane. Say you're, you're averaging 6,000 miles a week, mm -hmm. every week. you got good freight because you are, I'm going to tell you, Ohio is an excellent area for freight, okay? Mm -hmm. So we will not have any problems getting you in and out of Ohio anywhere at all. They've got a list of the 10 top uh, states that are like the honeypot where they have more freight there than anything, mm -hmm. and Ohio's in there. Ohio, Tennessee, Missouri, Michigan, Kentucky, Wisconsin, Virginia, Arkansas, California, Georgia, and Illinois, and Indiana. Those have the most freight than any of them. Okay. And you know why? Because Ohio has more manufacturing companies. Okay. So okay. there you go. That's what's up. That's exactly why. That's what's up. <laughs> so they call that the honey pot. Okay? Oh, okay. We we have all kinds of meetings with the operations downstairs because we ask them about, you know, our drivers. I want to tell you exactly what Covenant has to offer. I'm uh, not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not telling you anything. It's not true. You can I ask any of our drivers. As yeah. far as so, far as far as as far as leasing goes, again, uh, now let me ask you this. I, I didn't get a chance to ask you, but uh now I meant I did mention me and my partner but would would both of us be responsible for the lease or would one of us no, be responsible for the lease just one of you and the other one would work for you all the other you get the lease program and then you would uh, they you'd both be on you know uh contracting so the other person you'd have to get an I nine for them and they would work for you. So you determine how much the pay is gonna be. Y'all might want to split it down the middle or you might want to bring home more because it's under your lease or whatever. Or, you know, you might have a set amount you pay him every week, you know, or her. But so that you, so you that pay be, so basically I would get the chunk of the I, I would get the big paycheck and you then would get I paid would, for all the miles. All the miles and then, and then out of that them. Out you of that, them. then I pay yeah. them. Oh, okay. Exactly. I exactly. got you. Yeah. I got you. All right. Well, what's the trust governing that? Sixty-five plus three. Sixty. What about the lease? Well, you ask every question. You are a five-year driver. I'm not used to this when drivers only have like six months or a year. Uh, the lease is it's not governed. Oh, it's ungoverned. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah, it's your truck. It's your, it's your truck. If you get tickets, you're paying them. <laughs> We get tickets. We get CSA scores. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, hey, do you guys do you guys offer what, what benefits do you guys offer before I before I let you uh, go? Medical, dental, vision, life insurance, four hundred one k, all the bells and whistles, everything. Okay. Now there's there's none for a lease for the lease driver. I take it. Um, I think they see we own the leasing company. It's called Tail, so we own them. So I think they have what they call, I used to have all those answers years ago. 
but now they have somebody that does just leasing. Plus, you have to be here 30 days before you can get on it anyway. Um, they We only lease brand new vehicles, okay? They're, they're still under warranty, everything else. Um, they already have all the bells and whistles, extra things, everything. Um, they pay you a safety bonus every quarter. Uh, if you run 15,000 miles in a month, you get an extra $1,000. Uh, the only recommendations, the only things that you have to have is no open bankruptcies, no back child support of 5000 or more, and no back taxes, um, and no trailer repos, tractor trailer repos. Uh, okay. Good a credit score is not needed. It's based on your work history. Um, they so, do have insurance. It's through uh, Bobtail Insurance, Occupational Workman's Comp Insurance, and Physical Damage Insurance. So that's just for the truck. If you want to get your own insurance, that uh, you'd be responsible for that. So uh, we do give you a fuel card, and uh, they do reimburse you uh, for tolls, scales, lumpers, escorts, hotels. And padlock. Oh, okay. So is is and like you said before, this this pretty much isn't a walk away lease. So if it is I, not a walk away lease. It's so unfortunately, if I decide to leave the company, I I'm still responsible for paying off that truck. Can I take the truck with me? Um, some places you can because I know, like when Celadon went bankrupt, mm -hmm. there was a lot of our of uh, uh, trucks over there from tail okay. and they brought them back over here you know um if it will cost you is what it is they'll they'll charge you if you drop the lease okay um they do have a buyout at the end of the lease uh the lease is only 31 months so uh it's not a walk away lease you'll have to have six months experience and you have to have your hazmat uh, yada yada yada, but it's not it's not a walk away at all. The, it, the prices will cost you anywhere from six to eight thousand dollars to drop the lease. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's what's up. Well, what uh, Renee? I was Renee, yes. right? Thank you yes. very much. This is a good good conversation. Yes, a lot mm -hmm. of a lot of good information mm -hmm. that I could take back with me. Um, and a lot of and a you lot. You want me to send you and the, a, my information, and then I'll have it. You'll have it in writing, and then that way, if um, uh, you know, you have any more questions, you'll have my phone number and my my information on there. I appreciate it. If you it. want to it's, fill out the application, yeah. It's uh, Lockout Men, L O C K, O U T, M E N, P O D, C A S T. At, g at gmail dot com. Let me repeat it. Uh, L O C K O U T M E N T O D C A S T at gmail dot com. Yeah, that's P P O D. P O D. Yeah. Podcast. Okay, lock up me in podcast. Gotcha. All right. All right. I will get this to you right now. And if you have any other questions. I will call me back. I will definitely <laughs> call you back. Thank you very much for All your right, time. I really welcome. do appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. You bye have bye. a blessed one. You too. Bye bye. So let's get back at it, man. So let's get back at it. She called back. She called back and we finished out the conversation. So again, what do you guys think of the call? Like I said, she's a certified nine. I tell you, she came back with the fire, came back with the good information. Now, I I heard so many ups and downs with Covenant again with I'm not I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I just heard so many ups and downs with it. But as as you guys know, you when you get in, you'll see for yourself on how Covenant works. All right. So. You guys have a blessed one, and I will come back to you with another video. Oh, don't forget, every Wednesday and Friday. So definitely come back. Make sure y'all watch it. Get, get a brother some coffee. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. I think I said it already. You guys take it easy. I am out of here. You guys have a blessed one. Until the next video, peace.